Holy moly. Um, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Um, today, we just had, like, how long ago? Three minutes ago? Five minutes ago? We just had a 4.6 to strike south of El Monte, California. This, my friends, was a fairly large quake. I felt it all the way here in Menifee, where it actually shifted my couch. I have friends here in, where's Anaheim? I forgot where Anaheim is, my bad. Who said literally that um, a few minutes after the quake, um, like sirens were going off and now they're smelling for gas. So yeah, this was a really big quake. And if you were close to it, like in the city of El Monte, you could, felt, you could have felt shaking up to 6.0. Holy crap. Okay. 48 felt reports so far, but that is going to skyrocket. And yeah, let's pull this up on Google Earth. Ooh, I have faults on. That is not good for my computer. <laughs> and let's see if we can find which fault it's on. Where is my internet going? It's probably because everyone's logging on because they felt the quake. East Montebello fault. Why have I never heard of this? This is probably like a little section in the Elsinore. That's like a bit broken off. Hmm. I've never heard of that fault before. Yeah, still in a very, very populated area, so it probably had like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people feeling it. And let's see how far it was from our seismometers. Holy cow, that was a big quake. 56 miles away, so yeah, pretty good distance for shifting my couch. So yeah, here on the Infotech, we had pretty good readings. Not huge, because you know, it's the Infotech and it's meant to pick up quakes from around the world and not local quakes. But still, I bet you that if I changed it, manage sources, oh sorry, no, not manage sources, settings, then I make it 24 lines, there goes the globe, we can close that, oh, no, didn't want, did you see that, dang it, actually, you know, while, while that loads, let's just look at this, so yes, huge readings here, enormous 4e5 holy crap i think the last time we had a quake that was this big that reached this sheer magnitude like i guess magnitude is the wrong words to use but this size on my, my raspberry shake was the 4.9 in anza that is insane 4e5 holy crap okay gets super dark for the P wave and like the darkest one of the darkest I've ever seen by far for the S wave and it keeps go that was actually 3.3 .3 in Julian California and like stops right around actually no it keeps going oh stop you can still see it going but it's basically done but yeah huge readings P wave S wave holy crap okay so let's see if the info text I'm loading Wow. Oh my god. That is insane. So yeah, not much in the California-Mexico border, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, Not too big in Mammoth either, but here in Menifee, where we're really not that far away from it, it's still off the charts with 24 lines of data showing. That is next level, dude. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to put it back to its normal one. But still, that is insane. Wow. So yeah, here, let's see it again. P, P wave, S wave. And the P wave already gets over, what, like 10,000 counts? 50,000? I don't even know. Here, let's see. 25. Over 100,000 counts. So what? 100, 200, 300, 400,000 counts. Wow. Oh my god. That is insane. P wave, S wave. Wow. <gasps> it must have picked it up on the accelerometers. Yes. The accelerometers really aren't meant to pick up shake, like shaking unless it's extremely strong. And look at that, it did. It never does this. I always assumed that they were broken, to be honest. And look, they're actually doing things. I... I'm shocked, to be honest. P-wave, S-wave. Wow. 
Huh. How about this one? Yeah, that one too. Wow. Then this one? Yup. P wave, S wave. Wow. Holy crap. I'm seeing all these um, stories up from my friends on Instagram that, you know, asking <laughs> if anyone else felt the quake. And, yeah, oh my gosh. That was honestly scary. <laughs> okay, so yeah, not much else to show. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And stay safe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.